Hey guys, it's Renee. So to make this tool, I'm going to be using some air dry porcelain clay, which is the kind of clay that hardens with air. Feel free to work with polymer clay for this. It's pretty much personal preference. If you get the same result, I just prefer to work with this one because I get a lot more product and I don't have to bake anything. I'm going to be working over this parchment paper. I do have the review for this one. I use it for crafts and baking. So I'm just going to be taking my clay, rolling this uh, with my roller that has those four rings, similar to Wilton's uh, roller. This is just from an another brand but just something that has like thicker rings because we're gonna be needing that thickness i'm gonna be using my wilton 1m piping tip i have two of this one i use exclusively for baking or just for decorating when i bake and this other one that i use for crafts pretty much as a round cookie cutter so i'm just gonna be cutting a circle and i'm gonna let it dry so this kind of clay hardens first from the outside and then from the inside at this point the outside of this shape is like solid and i can touch it without ruining the shape or just adding like fingerprints but the insides are still soft so that's why I'm going to be taking this sewing pin making a hole in there let it dry with my pin in there if you're working with polymer clay work with like regular pins and then you just bake it once that's dry I'm going to be using this pink acrylic paint my brush and I'm going to be painting the two faces of this one like the front and back without covering the edges for the edges I'm going to be using this detail brush and also this mustard color acrylic paint I have the DIY for this one I made myself, this is customized, but I'm going to be now painting the edge of this, giving this two to three coats. Then I'm going to be using this dyeing tool. This is essentially a toothpick holder. I do have the DIY showing you how to make this. It's actually really easy and handy if you use toothpicks for like cookie decorating and all sorts of things. And I'm pretty much using this to clean up where I went too far with my mustard, which is pretty much all over the edge. Actually, toothpicks are pretty handy for a lot of like different things. I mostly use them to paint, like I'm doing right now, or just to make holes and stuff. The reason I'm not using an actual like detail brush is because the bristles tend to like open, go everywhere. And a toothpick, you get pretty much the same result for this kind of things, but it's a bit more like steady. And you kind of like control more where you wanna paint, if that makes sense. It's like when you're using a felt tip to paint your eyeliner. It's because it's more precise and you know exactly where you painted the line. Now I'm going to be taking this other dotting tool. I also do have the DIY for this one. Painting or adding dots on top of my mustard. Then I'm going back to this tool, adding smaller dots in the middle of those bigger dots. This is just to mark where I want my lines to be, which is the next step. Again, using this toothpick as a brush and tracing lines now. Then I'm going to be adding some gloss. The one I'm using is by Sculpey and I gave this like three coats. As a final step, I'm going to be taking another sewing pin, cutting that bit. You can choose the eye pin that you were working with. I'm cutting this one because they have like thousands of this ones and I only have like that one of like the one with the plastic bit. Adding my glue on my sewing pin and then just placing it. And this is pretty much what it looks like. I really like the design. It turned out kind of like a tribal-ish design, but I really hope you like this and find this helpful. I was going to do this anyway ways because I wear press on nails and I always need something for my glue and it's actually really easy to grab and use and I thought I'd share in case someone out there was looking for something like this but yeah hopefully you liked it and find this helpful if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more and share this thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you later and take care bye